Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scott Sheeler for Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts and Team G503. Sounds kind of silly, doesn't it? Because everybody knows that my name is Scott Schiller in the Team G503 video series where we're storing the 1943 Willis MB. Uh, had some comments recently. Someone said, you know, they cringe every time I say the word Willis. And it got me to thinking that I've been a big proponent of the correct way to pronounce W-I-L-L-Y-S for quite some time across social media and the rest of the world there. And we kind of argue back and forth and it's a lot of fun. But I have some compelling evidence for you this evening that the word W-I-L-L-Y-S is indeed pronounced Willis. Maverick. Starring Jack Kelly and Roger Moore. Produced by Warner Brothers. Brought to you by the Kaiser Industry. Kaiser Aluminum and Chemicals. Producing for industry and for your home. Motors, manufacturers of Jeep four-wheel drive vehicles. Kaiser Doing a little research across the web, I've got an article that was written in 2002 by the Toledo Blade in Ohio, and it reads as follows. J.N., that's John North Willis, pronounced his name Willis, local Jeep historian says. February 2nd, 2002, 7.20 a.m. More than 90 years after John North Willis came to Toledo, there is still confusion about how to pronounce his name. I talked to many people now deceased, including his private secretary, and all said empathetically that his name is pronounced Willis. has numerous references to both pronunciations and even a website devoted to the controversy. I haven't come across that website yet, but you can bet I'll be finding it. Adding to the confusion is that millions of GIs saw World War II Jeeps stamped W-I-L-L-Y-S and they came home with their own opinions as to the pronunciation. Thank God F-O-R-D can only be pronounced one way, but GPW can have all kinds of meanings and we'll get into that in another video. Out of the cauldron of war, has appeared the long-awaited solution. At long last, the answer has been found. It's the mighty Jeep, ready now to keep its rendezvous with the post-war world. And it is indeed a new and mightier Jeep in every way. An epoch-making development based on a new concept of rugged, versatile, mobile power engineered and built by Willis Overland to serve agriculture and industry all over the world in a thousand different ways. Who are you writing to now, Joe? I'm writing a letter to Willis Overland. Oh. Who? You heard me, Willis Overland. People that make the Jeep. <laughs> What do you expect to do, trade this one in? Oh, be yourself, wise guy. I'm telling him what a swell job it is. You know, Ed, I'm mighty fond of this little buggy, and so are lots of other guys in this man's army. When I get back to the farm, I'm gonna have one of them. I can think of a lot of things this wagon can do around the farm. Yeah, maybe. I wouldn't know. It's out of my line. Hey, I'll bet my old man could use one around his mill. Oh, sure he could. Wherever there's pulling or pushing to do, this is the baby can do it. Another article from the web. This one is a little bit more in favor of you Willie's pronouncers, so let me just read this to you really quick. The original pronunciation of W-I-L-L-Y-S was with a short I for the Y sound, so it was pronounced Willis. But it seems to have transmuted by some flexibility of the language which could produce Jeep out of GP. Mm, that's a story for another day, too. I've heard that the workers in the Willies, the Willies, <laughs> the Willis factory were the first people to mispronounce the name. Notice the key word there. They were the first to mispronounce the name. Now, a dramatic demonstration of four-wheel drive, the primary difference between Willis utility vehicles and less efficient transportation. And what does that mean to you and to your prospects? Just watch and you'll see. It means that a Willis utility vehicle can go anywhere to do its job in any kind of weather and over terrain that would send most vehicles to the junkyard. Now just a few words about the Willis four-wheel drive station wagon. This one you're looking at is owned by a lumber company. And remember, on good roads, the Willis station wagon can easily be shifted to a normal two-wheel drive. Uh, 
Pretty compelling evidence, wouldn't you say? Now let's take a look at the station wagon's brother vehicle, the Willis Sedan Delivery. Next comes the Willis pickup truck. With its new gross weight of 6,000 pounds, it safely carries up to almost one and a half tons. With the new dump matic hoist, the Willis truck is converted to an efficient all-purpose dump truck. Now for a Willis vehicle you've probably never even seen before. The brand new cargo personnel carrier. Thanks to its four-wheel drive, this vehicle represents a great achievement in transporting men and their equipment into hard-to-reach places. Yes, here comes the parade of Willis Jeeps and utility vehicles. What's the next new job they can do? The next new job for four-wheel drive. North, south, east, and west. In cities, in industries, and on farms, wherever there's work to be done and the will to do it, you'll find new uses and new markets for the world's most useful vehicles. Remember, there's a Jeep for your job. I guess I add to the confusion, I often say Willie's as a nickname for the unique trucks and wagons from night, produced from 1946 to 1945. So this is pretty interesting. It seems to be that it's a nickname, and I've been right the whole time. W-I-L-L-Y-S is pronounced Willis, as in Willis Overland, Willis Jeep. So you guys who are saying Willies are really calling it a nickname. I don't have a problem with that. I just want to show you there's proof as to what I'm saying to you all over the web. And yes, I did find some videos that said Willies, and that's okay. We just have a lot of fun with it, guys. I just, I want to make a video. I've never done this at all the time. I've been on the forums, I've been on the Facebook, I've been on the Instagram, all that stuff. We always are arguing Willie's Willis, and it's amazing how many times that pops up. Anyway, I hope you like the video. If you'd like to subscribe, you'll see what we're doing with the 1943 Willies. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Yeah, you said it. If you'd like to see what we're doing with the 1943 Willis MB on the series of Team G503, we're restoring it step by step, piece by piece. You can subscribe to us at Team G503 on YouTube. Until next time, my friends, keep it safe and happy Jeep. How do you say it? You can comment below. All parts for the 1943 Willis MB project are provided by Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts.